The Preds are straight up ridiculous right now. They just won their fifth game in a row by beating Detroit 1 0. More importantly, though, they're 15 0 2 in their last 17, meaning that they went from being on the playoff bubble fighting for that last spot to now they're pretty comfortably in a playoff spot. This team's really good. They can squeak out a 1 0 win against you like they did yesterday, where Sorrows can just be great, but they can also score a bunch when they need to. Obviously, the first two names you think of when you think of putting up points is Roman Yossi and Philip Forsberg. They've definitely been pulling their weight and playing like superstars, especially Forsberg. Wow. That's the big three. They're the heartbeat of your team. At the end of the day, this team's going to go as far as Soros, Yossi, and Forsberg are going to take them. But it's some of the other guys that have really been impressing me. Like, Gustav Nyquist is looking like 2014 prime Detroit Red Wings Gustav Nyquist. Remember that when he was fighting off like 1980s type holds and still finding a way to put the puck in the net? He's been great this year. I'm actually kind of floored at how good he's been for this team. The Ryan O'Reilly and Luke Shen signings from the summer have been absolute money for the Preds. Shen has his ups and downs, but he's a very serviceable defenseman that you can play up and down the lineup. He's actually playing with Yossi right now. O'Reilly's just been a terrific two-way number one centerman for this team. He's been everything and more that Barry Trotz could have asked for from a 33-year-old free agent. That's honestly one of the biggest reasons why they are where they are this year compared to where they were last year. Also, in my opinion, the really good teams who have a superstar defenseman, there needs to be another guy on the team who's usually really defensive-minded who's just an absolute horse. Like a guy on D who can just munch minutes like crazy. In Colorado, there's Kill McCarr, but there's also Devon Taves. In Vancouver, there's Quinn Hughes, but there's also Philip Ronick. In New York, there's Adam Fox, but there's also Keandre Miller and Jacob Truba. You get the point. And in Nashville, there's Roman Yossi, but there's also Ryan McDonough. He may not be paired with the star defenseman like the other guys I mentioned, but that's not what's important. What matters is that he eats so many minutes for this team, mostly in a defensive posture. That's a big key to their success. Then you've got other guys down the lineup who've been great middle six contributors for this team, like Tommy Novak and Luke Evangelista. I don't know why I just said that, Preds fans. I know it's Luke Evangelista. Those two especially have been clutch for this team. And lastly, I know I already mentioned this, but it bears repeating UC Soros. He's so important to this team. I can't believe he was involved in trade rumors earlier this season. I don't know what that was even about. This team is legitimately good. Like, I know you look at their lineup on paper. It may not look as attractive as a team like Edmonton or even Colorado. I'm not saying plan the parade here, but that team is so much better than it looks on paper. It's not even funny. This franchise's path has been so interesting because you look at last year's trade deadline, they sold and they sold hard. Ekholm, Jeannot, Niederreiter, Mikel Granlund, even Matt Duchesne in the offseason. Like, all these guys were gone. Plus, you bring in a rookie GM and Barry Trotz. Like, even with the signings of O'Reilly and Shen, it didn't really look like this team was exactly poised for success this season. Now fast forward a few months and honestly, even the big guns in the West, the Colorados, the Edmontons, the Dallases, the Vancouvers, I would not want to face Nashville in the first round. Don't make the mistake of looking at the roster on paper and being like, oh, my team's better than that. We want Nashville. No, don't do that. In the playoffs, I really do think the Preds could catch a few teams off guard and go on a nice little run. Sure, it's easy to say that when a team's on a 17 game point streak, but we've seen this movie many times before, man. The seven or eight seed that gets really hot near the end of the season and going into the playoffs and they take down the juggernauts and go on a run. I would honestly not be surprised at all if this year's Preds are the team to do that. Give me your thoughts in the comments as usual. If you want more Preds content, you know what to do. Like the video, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. You're awesome.